so I was in the middle of filming another video and I just got my package of the Jaclyn Cosmetics Pout Spoken Liquid Lipstick. I was able to get my hands on one of the lipsticks, just one of them because they all sold out. So all the shades on the Jaclyn Cosmetics website and I went on there and this was literally the only shade that was left. So I went ahead and ordered it so I can do a swatch here on my channel for you guys and review the lipstick. I'm going to wear it for a few hours and then come back and let you guys know what I think about the lipstick. So yeah, let's open this up. So it came in this package right here. It's plastic, not a big fan of that. Um, and then it has like a little tab here where you can like pull. The package has the letter J all over it. Um, not sure if anybody cares about that. So then you just open it from here and then you take out the lipstick. All right, so this is the actual packaging of the Pout Spoken lipsticks, and it is just a black carton, and it says Jaclyn Cosmetics on it right here in the front. And I was able to get the shade Get Real. Online it says that Get Real is a blushing almond, which I don't really know what that means, um, but we will try it on and see how that looks. She came out with 15 liquid lipstick shades, and then she also came out with lip liners. I was not not able to get my hands on the lip liners they literally all sold out so the liquid lipsticks are $20 and the lip liner is $18 for the liquid lipsticks you get 0.12 fluid ounces and it does come in a plastic tube so it is black and then it fades into a clear color right here where you can see the shade of the lipstick and then it says Jaclyn in the front the letters of Jaclyn are in rose gold so the applicator is pretty standard so they do have a scent and they smell kind of like cake batter which is what it says online and it's very very subtle so it's not strong at all I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it right here on my hand so it is very very pigmented I can see the shade right away um, and it does look wet I think it's supposed to dry down but that is how it looks wet I'll show you guys in a little bit once it dries down and it's completely dry um, so you guys can see the difference so I was a little afraid of getting this shade because I wasn't sure if it was gonna be too light for my skin tone i am a light medium to medium skin tone so i normally don't get nude lipsticks that are very very light so hopefully this shade works for me all of the shades are nude and they do range from very very light nude to a very very dark nude so i do like the shade range i think this is definitely a step up from her original lipsticks that she launched which i did purchase those lipsticks and yes they did have the same issues that everybody had i mean it was obvious what was wrong about those lipsticks and i'm actually proud of jacqueline she went through a lot it's very inspiring to see how much she went through and then she's still coming back and getting back up and showing women and girls that when you get down you can get back up and i totally understand because she has nieces and she wants to be a really good role model for them i have a niece and i I definitely understand where she's coming from and that's a reason why I did want to review her lipstick here because I've seen some positive feedback on them and I did review her blush duos of her recent launch and some of her recent highlighters so if you want to check out that video it's up on my channel and I'll link it up here or you can search Jacqueline on my channel and it should pop up okay so the shade got a little darker so it looks like it will work for my skin tone yeah I'm actually really excited to try it out so I don't have any lipstick on right now I do have a little bit of lip liner but I'm gonna apply a little bit more lip liner since I didn't get one of her lip liners I'm gonna use one of my own before I do that I am gonna dab my lips because this is the natural lip color of my lips they're pretty pigmented and sometimes they look very red I have a little foundation right here on my beauty sponge so I'm just gonna dab my lips to remove some of that pigment 
Okay, so I feel like that helped. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the lip liner now and I'm gonna zoom in. So the lip liner I'm using is from KKW Beauty and it is in the nude one. I use this lip liner all the time. I use it with almost all of my nude lipsticks. This lip liner is really, really creamy and it just glides really easily on my lips. So that's why I really, really like it. My lips are actually a little dry right now and chapped. So I did apply a little bit of lip balm before coming here because if I don't my lips are just gonna be cracked I applied just one swipe and dabbed it out with my finger because a lot came out and was applied on my lips um, so I didn't want to apply another swipe on the top lip so I just put my lips together and then blended it out with my finger all right guys so this is the shade get real and it looks really really pretty normally when a nude lipstick is a little too light I like to apply a little bit more lip liner. But so far, I feel like it does feel pretty comfortable. When you look at it in person, it looks dry. But on the lips, it doesn't feel dry, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of lip liner. All right, guys. So this is how the lipstick looks with a little bit more lip liner blended in with the lipstick. And I feel like it looks a little bit better and it doesn't look too light. It actually looks really, really nice. I really like like this shade a lot especially with my eyeshadow that I'm wearing right now so I definitely feel like it looks better now I do feel like it has dried down a little bit more since I've been wearing it but at the same time it does still feel like it hasn't dried down all the way so it's a really really interesting formula it does feel very very nice and it is not moving so I do feel like it does stay in place it says that Jacqueline wanted a lipstick that not only looks beautiful but but feels moisturizing and comfortable all day. I do feel like they do feel pretty comfortable on the lips and my lips feel flexible for me to like talk and even smile. And I don't feel like the liquid lipstick is cracked. I am going to do a blotting test with a napkin. So this is clean as you guys can see. Okay. So I do see that it does have a little bit of transfer, but I did also apply lip liner over the top of the lipstick. So this could also be some lip liner on here, but I do see that some of the liquid lipstick got onto the napkin. You guys can see it's still on my lips and on my hand. Unless you rub super, super hard, then you can start to see that the lipstick starts to move. So just wanted to show that to you guys right here on my hand. So it's not really coming off on my hand when I kiss it. Just, just like a hint of color came onto my hand but that's pretty much it so anyways it is 8 p.m right now i haven't had dinner so i'm gonna eat dinner and then i'll come back in a couple hours it'll probably be around 10 or 11 p.m hey guys i am back and it is 11 p.m so i've been wearing the liquid lipstick for a few hours now and just wanted to come back and show you guys how my lips look so i did eat dinner i definitely put to use the liquid lipstick so i want I wanted to show you guys from my phone how my lips look because here on camera it kind of blurs a little bit and you probably won't be able to see very well. You can see that the lipstick doesn't look bad um, but it did come off a little bit so I wouldn't say that it doesn't come off at all. I feel like it does especially after eating. Um, maybe if you don't eat or drink um, it'll last a bit longer. Definitely more on the inside of my lip um, but on the outside I do feel like the lipstick is still on it does still feel pretty comfortable like on the outer portion of my lips the inside just feels really really dry right here i feel like i can just easily apply more and blend it out and it's gonna be fine again so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'm just dabbing it a little bit because the first time i think i applied too much and back to normal i feel like i can recommend it to you guys um i think they are pretty good lipsticks so i do 
think it's nice packaging i just don't i don't think it's like that great but it's fine i do like the scent of the the lipsticks and it's really really pigmented as well so you only need a little bit to apply it on the lips and then blend out with your fingers that's the best way um to apply it i feel like and also this shade get real i feel like it looks really good with a darker lip liner um apply before and after as well and blend it in i really really like the shade the shade is really really nice it's like a really on the peachy side and i feel like it's just really really pretty for like the spring another thing that i wanted to point out is that i feel like the lip liners and the lip stick together are are pretty pricey so if you purchase a lip liner and a liquid lipstick it will cost 38 dollars plus taxes i don't know i feel like that's kind of high because i looked it up and the kylie lip kits are 29 dollars and you get a lip liner and a liquid lipstick as well so you definitely save a lot more money with the kylie liquid lip kits the jacqueline lipsticks and lip liner you do get a little bit more but not that much the liquid lipstick is 0.12 fluid ounces and the kylie liquid liquid matte lipsticks are 0.11 ounces so 0.01 ounces of difference there's definitely not much difference so you do get a little bit more on the jacqueline lipsticks and lip liners um but it is a very big difference from 29 dollars to 38 dollars the jacqueline are a little bit more hydrating than the kylie ones but as far as purchasing like the lip liner and the liquid lipstick from Jacqueline I think that's where it's like not worth it to me because I can just use any lip liner that I like like I'm sure you can find other lip liners that are more affordable than the Jacqueline ones I don't know how good the Jacqueline lip liners are so I can't really speak to them but personally I feel like I'm not really missing out that much because I already have lip liners that I really really like and I just stick to like the same lip liner always uh, yeah that is my review on the Jacqueline Pelt Spoken lipstick in the shade get real let me know in the comment section what you guys think a few things here and there that maybe could have been improved like the packaging and maybe on the pricing don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up share it with anybody that you think would want to try out palette spoken lipsticks i'm ready to go to bed now so i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye so i was in the so